Hello, hi, and welcome back to my channel. I'm Heather Corinne, and today we're going to be crocheting these adorable bunny rabbits. I just love how these turned out. They're perfect for Easter baskets or nurseries or baby shower gifts. I just absolutely love their little faces and the fact that you can make them in multiple different colors. I'll post a list of materials and stitches we'll be using in the description box below, as well as a link to my blog post where I've typed this pattern out for you. So let's get started. We'll begin with the legs and the torso portion of this pattern. So we're going to create a magic circle and single crochet six stitches into the magic circle. Now that we've got six stitches in this magic circle, we're going to pull this loose end tight to cinch it up and we'll move on to round two. For round two, we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch around, which will be a total of 12 stitches for round two. After the second single crochet in that same stitch, I'm going to place a stitch marker in the first single crochet to keep my place so that I know when I arrive back to the beginning of that round. For round three, we're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. Pop in that stitch marker. And one single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat this sequence all the way around. Two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch. And that'll be a total of 18 stitches for round three. For rounds four through nine, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around, and that'll be a total of 18 stitches per round. And I'll meet you back at the end of round nine. So here we are after the end of round nine. Well, I've actually got one stitch left on round nine. As you can see, I like to leave my stitch markers in sometimes so I can easily count my rounds. So I'm just gonna put this last single crochet in round nine and I'm going to chain one. Then I'm going to tie off with a relatively short tail and pull through that chain one stitch. Now we'll pop all these little stitch markers out. And here we have our first leg. So for the second leg, we're gonna repeat rounds one through nine without tying off. So here I am with the second leg and I haven't tied off with my yarn. So to move on to round 10, we're going to pick up our first leg and single crochet directly into the ninth row of that first leg. So I'm picking up this first leg, insert the hook into what would have been the 10th row of that, that next round, and I'm gonna single crochet. And that joins them together, and I'm gonna continue single crocheting around 
that first leg. So I'm going to put this stitch marker in just so that I know where my first stitch of this round was. And I'm going to continue single crocheting all the way around that first leg. And then when I arrive back to the second leg, we'll continue single crocheting around it as well. So that'll be a total of 30 sti 36 stitches for round 10. So here you can see we're going to move directly into that next stitch on our second leg and begin single crocheting around the second leg. And we'll continue working our way all the way around that leg as well. And so that's going to create a nice cohesive body with our two legs joined together. I thought this was the cutest little crochet trick when I first learned how to join these little legs together. And once we arrive back at our stitch marker, we know that we're done with this round. For rounds 11 through 13, we're just going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 36 stitches per round. So I will meet you back at the end of round 13. So here we are at the end of round 13. I've just pulled a really long stitch out so that we won't lose our place. And we're gonna take our handy dandy tapestry needle and tie off this um, sort of hole in between the legs. So we're gonna take the medium tail that we left on the first leg. So this is the, the tail from the um, the magic circle on the first one so we're just going to stuff that down in there so that medium tail from where we tied off we're going to string it onto the tapestry needle and you can see there's ever so slightly like a hole where we join the legs together and what we're going to do is just stitch a couple of stitches up and down through the inside with that tail to sort of connect these a little more securely. And now I'm just tying those two tails together just to secure everything and then I'll stuff the remainder down into the legs. And as you can see, we've accomplished our goal of securing those um, two legs together at the bottom and there's no longer a hole down there. So now we will move on to round 14. For round 14, we're going to single crochet decrease. So we're going to insert the hook, yarn over and pull through, insert the hook into the next stitch, yarn over and pull through, and then yarn over and pull through all three loops on the hook. So that's a single crochet decrease, pop in our stitch marker, and then we're going to single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we'll repeat this sequence all the way around, single crochet decrease, and then single crochet in the next four stitches, for a total of 30 stitches for round 14.
For round 15, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 30 stitches for round 15. For round 16, we're going to single crochet decrease. Pop in our stitch marker. And then single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we're gonna repeat this sequence all the way around single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next four stitches for a total of 25 stitches for round 16. For rounds 17 through 19, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 25 stitches per round. If you're enjoying this tutorial, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification bell. Your support allows me to continue to create these free tutorials for you, and I really appreciate it. So here we are at the end of round 19. For round 20, we're going to single crochet decrease, pop in our stitch marker, and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches. For a total of 20 stitches for round 20. For round 21, we're going to single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 20 stitches for round 21. For round 22, we're going to single crochet decrease, pop in that stitch marker, and then single crochet in each of the next three stitches for a total of 16 stitches for round 22. And we're going to repeat this sequence all the way around, single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next three stitches. Round 23 is the last round for the torso. We're going to single crochet, decrease, pop in our stitch marker, and then we'll single crochet in each of the next two stitches, and we'll repeat this all the way around. Single crochet, decrease, single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of 12 stitches for round 23. Now that we're at the end of round 23, we're going to slip stitch into that next stitch to sort of finish it off. And then I'm going to just chain one and tie off with a short tail.
Moving on to the arms, we're going to create a magic circle. And then we're going to place six single crochet in the magic circle. Now that we've got six single crochet in the magic circle, we're just going to pull this loose end tight so we can move on to round two. Round two, we're going to place two single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches for round two. For rounds three through 14, we're going to single crochet in each stitch for a total of 12 stitches per round. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 14. Here we are at the end of round 14. We're going to slip stitch into that next stitch to sort of finish it off and chain one, tying off with a long enough tail to attach it to our torso. The arms are gonna sort of lie flat on his sides. We're not gonna put a lot of stuffing in those. So now you're gonna to need to make two of these. So now we've got two arms, we'll set those aside and we'll move on to the bunny head. For the head, we'll create a magic circle and we're going to place six single crochet in the magic circle. Now that we've got six single crochet in our magic circle, we're gonna pull that loose end tight and we'll move on to round two. Round two, we're gonna place two single crochet in each stitch around. So here's my first single crochet in that first stitch. Second single crochet in that same stitch. We'll pop in that stitch marker and then we'll continue placing two single crochet in the rest of the stitches for a total of 12 stitches for round two. For round three, we're gonna place two single crochet in the first stitch. Pop in our stitch marker into that first stitch. And then we're gonna place one single crochet in the next stitch. And we'll repeat this sequence all the way around. Two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next stitch for a total of 18 stitches for round three. For round four, we're gonna place two single crochet in the first stitch, pop in our stitch marker, and then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And we'll repeat this all the way around, two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next two stitches, 
for a total of 24 stitches for round four. For round five, we're gonna place two single crochet in the first stitch, pop in our stitch marker, and then one single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we'll repeat that sequence all the way around, two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next three stitches, for a total of 30 stitches for round five. Round six is our last round of increasing. We're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. Pop in our stitch marker. And then we'll place one single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in each of the next four stitches for a total of 36 stitches for round six. For rounds seven through 12, we're going to single crochet in each stitch for a total of 36 stitches per round. So I'll meet you back at the end of round 12. Here we are at the end of round 12, moving on to round 13. Round 13, we're going to single crochet decrease. Pop in our stitch marker. And then single crochet in each of the next four stitches. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next four stitches for a total of 30 stitches for round 13. For round 14, we're going to single crochet decrease. Pop in that stitch marker. And then we're going to single crochet in each of the next three stitches. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next three stitches for a total of 24 stitches for round 14. For round 15, we're gonna single crochet decrease. Pop in that stitch marker. And then single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Single crochet decrease, single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of 18 stitches for round 15. At the end of round 15 is a good time to add our safety eyes and our little nose. So we're going to pull out this last stitch on round 15 and I like to put our stitch marker in it just to make sure that for any reason it doesn't get pulled or come unraveled and we will pop in our safety eyes. I'm going to count down two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11. So the space between like the 11th and 12th row down is where I'm going to pop in these safety eyes.
I'm using my other bunny as a guide, so I'm kind of counting over two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, like ten spaces apart or ten stitches apart. I just love this sweet little bunny face. It's so adorable. And now we need to pop on the safety backs onto these safety eyes. I'll link these down below. These are my favorite safety eyes. They come in a multi-pack on Amazon for like less than $10. And they're so versatile because of the different sizes. So you can choose which size you want to put on your different projects. Next, we're gonna stitch on this little nosy. I thought that this pink yarn would look good on this brown bunny. So we just cut a piece off and we're gonna use a tapestry needle to stitch on sort of a triangle shape. I started the top of the nose on the same row line as the eyes are and just come across, I think maybe two stitches. Yeah, like two stitches and then come down a row in the center of those two stitches to make a triangle shape. And I just go over that twice. My goal with going over it that second time is to sort of fill in that space in the center of the triangle. Now I'm just gonna flip it inside out sort of and tie the back of those two tails together. And he's got a sweet little nose and some eyes. This is also the perfect time to add our polyfill stuffing. We can also add a little bit more before completely closing it off, but just to get a good amount of stuffing in there before moving on to round 16. For round 16, we're going to single crochet decrease. And then single crochet in the next stitch. We'll repeat that all the way around. Single crochet decrease and then single crochet in the next stitch. That'll be a total of 12 stitches for round 16. I feel like this part of the project is like battle of the stuffing where you have to constantly shove the stuffing back down so that you're not hooking it when you're trying to decrease. <laughs> For round 17, oh, and this is where I also add a little bit extra stuffing if I need to right before I start closing it up at the bottom. Round 17, I'm just gonna single crochet decrease six times in a row for a total of six stitches for round 17.
Now we're going to chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to attach the head to the body. And we're going to use our handy dandy tapestry needle to sort of stitch up that remaining opening at the bottom. It doesn't really matter because we're going to be attaching this portion to the, the body, but I just like to finish this part off. So I'm just going to stitch a couple of stitches around those outer edges just to close that opening up and then move on to his ears. For the ears, we're going to create a magic circle. And single crochet six stitches into the magic circle. Now that we've got six single crochet in our magic circle, we're going to pull this loose end tight and we'll move on to round two. Round two, we're going to single crochet in each stitch, which will be a total of six stitches for round two. We want to make sure that when it starts to curl that we're pushing the appropriate stitches outward and not flipping it inside out because we want the ears to be right side out obviously. <laughs> Moving on to round three, we're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. Pop in our stitch marker. And then one single crochet in the next stitch and we'll repeat this all the way around two single crochet in the first one single crochet in the next stitch for a total of nine stitches for round three. For rounds four and five, we're going to single crochet in each stitch for a total of nine stitches per round. For row six, we're going to place two single crochet in the first stitch. Pop in our stitch marker. And then one single crochet in each of the next two stitches. And we'll repeat this all the way around. Two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet in the next two stitches for a total of 12 stitches for round six. For rounds seven through 16, we're gonna single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches per round. And I'll meet you back at the end of round 16. 
If you've made it this far in this video and you haven't subscribed yet, take two seconds, scroll down, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you see all of my upcoming fun new crochet projects. Here we are at the end of row 16. We're going to slip stitch into that next stitch to sort of finish the ear off. And we're gonna chain one and tie off with a long enough tail to attach the ear to the top of the head. The ears will sort of lay flat and then we're going to shape them by bending the bottom edge together but that's what they're going to look like so now I need two. So now that we have two ears we can move on to assembling this project. So first I'm going to stuff the legs and torso portion. Next, the arms are gonna have ever so slightly a little bit of stuffing focused down at the bottom because you want the sides of the arms to lie flat but then the bottom to have a little bit of shape to it. So I put just a smidge of stuffing down at the bottom and then smush the rest of the arm flat. Taking our handy dandy tapestry needle, we're going to attach the arm to the side of the torso. I do go over this a couple of times. I just don't include it in the video just to make sure it's nice and secure if it's going to be given to a little one or a toddler and make sure that they can't pull it off in any way. And then I'll tie off and either weave in that loose end or stuff it down in the top of the body. So now we'll attach the other arm to the other side and move on to attaching the cute little head. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping the head straight for this entire project. So I'll put one stitch through the torso and then one stitch through the head. and then repeat one stitch through the torso, one stitch through the head. When I start getting towards the back, that's where I like to flip it around and check a few times to make sure that I'm not twisting the head crooked. I want him to be looking straight forward. And here I'm tying off and weaving in the ends underneath one of his arms from the head just to keep it um, not very visible and out of sight. Ta-da! 
all, now all we have left is to add the ears. So to shape our ears, we're going to lay it flat and then obviously string on our tapestry needle. But then the bottom, we're just going to sort of squinch together, like put the two outside corners into a point to where they're touching. And that creates that bunny ear shape. And we're going to use that tail to stitch that bottom part together to hold the shape before we attach it to the top of the head. So I'm just going to put a couple stitches through the very bottom and then I'll also run a couple stitches up through the top, well not the top, but like where this is sort of pinched together. So I'm going to put one stitch through here and then another stitch up a little bit higher than that just to keep this part together. And here's what our bunny ear looks like ready to be attached to the head. So we'll just need to shape this second bunny ear. And I like to hold both of them up before I decide the placement. And then I'll set one aside and attach one first. So once I've got the placement chosen, I'm going to do the same method as I did with the head. So I've got one stitch through the top of the head, one stitch through the ear and then one stitch through the top of the head on the other side. And then one stitch back through the ear out onto the other side. And repeat one stitch through the head, one stitch through the ear, one stitch through the head on the other side, one stitch through the ear until it feels nice and secure on top of the head and it stands up straight. You don't want it to be sagging in either direction. And so now I'm going to tie off and weave in this loose end and trim any of the excess yarn. And now all we have to do is add our second ear. Here is our finished bunny rabbit. This might be one of the cutest crochet designs I've come up with so far. Don't tell my niece and nephew, but these are their Easter gifts. I can't wait to give them to them. Stay tuned for some new fun crochet projects I've got in the works. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon.